Several agencies are reminding people of some winter weather do's and don'ts. Robert Price is braving the cold for us tonight. He joins us live with more. Robert. That's right, Cynthia. Definitely getting a bit nippy out here tonight. San Antonio hasn't seen temperatures dip below freezing since February, so people might be a little rusty in how they deal with this kind of weather. Michael McCraney is busy getting his west side home ready for the first freeze of the season. I cover the plants, take some of them inside. It's our two weeks of winter coming, I guess. <laughs> Raul Rendon is taking a bit more of an extreme approach. He's shutting off the water to his house. I'm different. <laughs> I'm an old... Old retired Marines are different from everybody else. Nothing coming out of this faucet. He says he doesn't want to risk it during the freeze. Because then it'd be very expensive to replace all the water lines and all the damage from the water. <laughs> and what about all those outdoor pets? I'm fixing our house up right now, making the blankets, you know, making sure they're still in there. A make-believe North Pole is one thing, but once temps drop below freezing, Animal Care Services says the best place for pets is indoors. Use common sense. So, for instance, a German Shepherd or a Husky, our winters are mild for, for, for a breed like that. But smaller pets should be in the house, in the garage, or at least in a doghouse with blankets or hay. We recommend any animal kept outside is frequently checked throughout the day. These conditions keep the fire department plenty busy as well, with people failing to check their heaters or fireplaces. People get lax or they just don't think about it and all of a sudden, you know, this first freeze is upon us. This is really something you should think out in advance. Have a professional come make sure everything's working safely. It's not too late to do that. Even though this is the first freeze, there's going to be several more colder days. It's better just be safe and hold off using it until you can get a professional out. <laughs> Raul says he's ready. Water shut off. Buckets filled if he needs them. And it'll be a couple of days uh, tonight and tomorrow, and then I'll turn it on again. The fire department is also reminding people to keep space heaters at least three feet away from anything that can burn, like curtains or furniture. Also, make sure those smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors are working properly. And don't use your stove to heat your house. Reporting live, Robert Price, Fox News at 9.